Good morning, sunshines. I woke up like this. I tried this on my hair last night. This is from a robe, if you cannot tell. I don't know if this is gonna do anything. We gave it a go, let's see. Oh, it smells divine. That's actually pretty cute. I'm not mad about that. I just washed my hair last night. I self-tanned. Today, Sir William comes back into town. to has out for a bit. So I wanna look cute. I am so tired. I could not fall asleep last night. I'm so frustrated. I tossed and I turned and tossed and turned, which is rare. I think maybe I drink coffee too late. I don't know. But instead of sleeping in this morning, I forced myself to get up. So it's eight. Oh, but I am very sleepy, but I think I'm gonna push through because I kind of want to fix my sleep schedule. That being said, today we're doing a little autumnal vlog. That's my goal. Probably just kind of day in life, but we're gonna have some autumnal sprinkled in. It's a mess over here. I haven't cleaned up from the s'mores. Don't worry about it. Today, may call for two caffeinated beverages instead of one. So I'm gonna show you my new favorite. I tried this in Tahoe with Liz. Cup with ice. Then this, it's not too sweet. I think 100 milligrams caffeine for 12 ounces, which I never drink quite 12 ounces. It's about that much in the cup. Top it off with some extra creamy oat milk. Then the real winner here, cold foam. I don't know if I have any left, it's very low. Oh yeah, there's. Oh my gosh, look at that goodness. Mm-hmm, yep, that's it, that's it. It's literally, there's no other way to describe it. It's not too sweet, you know? And this coffee, because I didn't get my drinks from Factor this week. The cold brew protein shakes, I always order those. But this week, I did not get them. I got the juices instead, but I'll show you guys later. For now, since I self-tanned last night, I have to go rinse it off. I should probably feed the cats. Are you hungry, senor? Senor Squish, I love you so. Lost the robe tie because I used it for my hair yesterday. I'll find it. I definitely just wanted to sit and rot on the floor of the shower. I am so tired. I slept six and a half hours, which isn't that much, but it isn't that little either. You know what I mean? I'm like, get over it. Get over it. I put this on my hair so I wouldn't mess it up in the shower. Oh, that hurt my head. <laughs> I'm spinning. Now we're gonna moisturize. Finish getting ready. Last week, I got a Morpheus gait treatment. Not me just looking for the cap of this and it's already on. It's gonna be one of those days. I've lost it. I think I've officially lost it. So the Morpheus 8 treatment, it's been a little over a week. I think my skin's looking really good. They did uh, Morpheus 8 and a little bit of IPL because I have like redness right here between my eyes for some reason and a little bit like on my cheeks and stuff. It's supposed to bring dark spots out. We're gonna do three treatments and it takes a full six months for the effects to like fully set in. So we'll see. I'm doing a lot of close-ups of like before. And then as we go, I'll do a lot at the six month mark, which will be January 30th or something. So it's gonna be a minute. But I kind of like that. I like that it's in for the long haul. I'm curious as to like what it's gonna look like at the end. Let you guys know if it's all worth it. I realized I was showing you guys my face, but I had like the face filter thing on. So here's no face filter. And then I thought I would show you. This is what I wear for my base layer. I'm doing some Ilia Drops. Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40. So this one's quite light, very liquidy when it comes out. And then I'm just gonna mix in one little pump of Luminous Silk, just for extra SPF. I put a little bit of my Shiseido 50 SPF on there. And then I always rub this in with my fingers first. I am by no means particularly good at makeup, but if you're a super low maintenance girl like me and you want something that is extremely, extremely simple, I'm your girl. There's that. It's kind of dewy. It's nice. I feel like it looks like skin. Now I'll just do a little concealer and blush and call it a day. Nars vanilla. Keep in mind this good lighting is a filter in itself. This is the Rare Beauty Blush. Okay, this is my last step. It's like eight or nine right now and I'm going to yoga at four. So I'm not gonna do too much because it's all gonna sweat off in yoga anyway. That's it. Good morning, princess. Good morning. Basically, I have the same few yoga fits I cycle through. This is the blue one. I accidentally ordered the extra small crop shop boutique on this one, and I feel like it's just a little too small. My other three sets that I like are already dirty. I've done a lot of yoga this week, so we're going with blue. Going with blue. I know this is an autumnal vlog or whatever, but it has been so hot in San Diego. It is like almost 90, which is very hot for San Diego. It's usually not that warm. Um, but we're still, we're still milking out the autumnal vibes, okay? I don't even care. My little ghosty phone case. Isn't she cute? 
Guess what just got here? Guess who this vlog is sponsored by? What a coincidence. Thank you, Facta, for sponsoring today's vlog. This is how I survive. I'm just not the best at keeping up with groceries, with meal prep. I just love my Facta for literally years now. Factor is a meal prep meal service company that delivers fresh and never frozen meals straight to your door every single week. I love their app. I love the options. You can pick your meals every single week. If you want four pasta and pork ragu meals for the week, you can just do four of those or 10 of those or whatever you want. You can mix and match, pick it on the app. There's so many add-on options that are extremely tempting. I usually get the cold brew protein shakes. Those are one of my favorites. There's tons of options. They're always delicious and they're just there for you. You don't have to prep, you don't have to grocery shop, you don't have to clean up. Also, have you seen the prices at grocery stores lately? Honestly, this is more cost effective for me and my time anyway. I'm just, it's what I do and I highly recommend. You can head to factor75.com. Use code 50 Nikki. You get 50% off of your first box and 20% off of your second. Risk free, give it a go, try it out. This is the only way I have survived <laughs> the best hot minute, okay? Gotta do what you gotta do. Squish is eating the autumn decor. Squish. That is not food. That is autumnal decor. Isn't this cute? It's like a string. I think I'm gonna hang it up. Maybe here on the window. Not sure yet. The next day. Fast forward. It's a day later. Picked up Will from the airport. Brought him home. We went to a hot yoga class together. It was ridiculously hard. I thought I was going to pass out like three times. I kept getting weird head rushes. I don't even know why. We had some Wabba Grill. Hung out. Did not do autumnal decor shopping. I was tired. Today, woke up. Signed up for a new class that I haven't tried before called Sweat Circuit. It's like weightlifting and it's lower body focused today. Thank goodness because my upper body is really short. I'm going to head to that class. I have to go pick up Sarah. We're going to go together and then we'll get the ball rolling. Six and a half hours later. I recorded a clip here and it disappeared. I, maybe I didn't hit record. I don't know. Point being, the class that Sarah and I did was fun. It was called Sweat Circuit and it was extremely similar to an F45, but much more confusing. We were both so lost during it. Everyone was super helpful, very kind and helping us figure it out as we went. But there were many times where I was like, what are we doing now? It was a mess. Point being though, this, I'm recording this a couple days later. Sore, I'm so sore. It was a great workout, fabulous. So I would do it again. I ordered a new air fryer because my last air fryer, honestly, it's ugly. I don't have a good spot to put it away so it needs to be on the counter and I've had it for several years. It's not a very nice one. I don't know, I just don't like it. I just want a new one, okay? I just want a new one. But I have for you here a new air fryer because I wanna make an autumnal spooky s'mores with you. I think we should do a new air fryer. Who's with me? Of course I fed him and what is he doing? Is he eating it? No, he's here. Typical, am I right? Here she is. They had a white version, which would have looked cool, but I did get the black version just because I felt it would go better out. She's beautiful. Look at her, and you can see what's in the air fryer. I love that about it, that you can see what you're cooking and if it's burning. <laughs> Okay, well, this is our old air fryer. She's, let me look at her. Rusty, crusty, ugly, can't see what I'm cooking. Like she technically works, but you know, she's an eyesore. She looks like an egg incubator and I'm over it. But honestly, she gave us a good run. She gave us a good run. Now, out with the old. Look at this sexy new air fryer. Wow, she's beautiful. She looks high tech. She looks brilliant. She looks ready to take on the world. <gasps> and you can see the inside. Oh, that's bloody brilliant. Love that. I did say when I get it, I have to put it on 475, like the highest heat for 15 minutes to burn away something. She's gorgeous. See, there was a white one as well, but it still had a black screen. And I kind of like the way this one's all like uniform. I just like it a little better. So we went with a black air fryer. She's a beaut. Quite pleased with this spaceship. I have promised you autumnal decor. I'm <laughs> so tired. Snap out of it, you know? Like snap out of it. Get over it. That's what I'm saying. 
It is in fact the next day, but we're just gonna move on from that. I'm here at Barnes and Noble, my first autumnal move. I'm gonna go in here and try to get some maybe spooky mystery thriller, psychological thriller, some kind of theme book. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna go for my typical just fantasy romance. We're gonna we're gonna look a little deeper, see what we can find. Maybe I will also get a fantasy romance. I don't know. Who's to say? Who's to say? have been retrieved. I got two that I know are thriller. I don't know if there's any romance or other stuff in it. I think they're just thrillers. Mystery. And then this is a romance thriller, I believe. And then a romance. I just saw them recommended on Book Talk, etc. This one I've seen for quite some time. I think since I first started seeing books, period. But I decided I would give it a go. This is part of a series, the Seven Deadly Sins, Kings of Sin series. This is the first book of those. We'll see how it goes. This one I picked up because it was recommended. It is also part of a series. I've read one Frida McFadden book before that I literally picked up in the airport randomly. And I wasn't super impressed by it, but I didn't hate it. But I heard good things about this one that's really creepy. I'm excited. Last but not least, this was my wild card pick that I was not recommended by anyone. I just picked it up because I'm a horror movie fanatic. I feel like I might enjoy this one and it's supposed to be a mystery, a thriller, a plot twist ending. So I will let you know if any of these are good, but those that's the book haul for the day. I'm quite excited. I turned off the AC so it wouldn't be blasting over the audio, but I'm melting. So I'm gonna put the AC back on and we're gonna run to Home Goods before we go back home and I have some other things to do. So let's go see what Home Goods has. The way I could have spent my life savings in there, guys. Oh my. Everything was so cute. She wrapped most of the stuff that I got up, but I'll just show you the pillows, basically. Look at this pillow. It's like a tarot card, the moon, and it's a pillow. And it's just like the perfect gothic witchy fall autumnal vibe. I went definitely spookier skeleton spooky vibes, more so than like orange autumnal. I don't know if I'm gonna have a bit of both or if I'm just gonna stick with spooks, but I don't know, I really liked it. This I got for a pillow for the sofa because I put pink pillows on the sofa, but I thought this was so cute and it's really soft. And everything else is wrapped up except this is my favorite thing that I got. It was $13, but it's a little soft, so soft pumpkin pillow with little cat ears. <laughs> it's so cute. And everything else was like semi-breakable-ish, so it's wrapped up, but I'll show you when I get home. I don't want to unwrap it in the car and then have to rewrap it, whatever. And now we're charging Tessie, which is probably loud. So I'll get back to you. You ready to unwrap the haul? My book haul. Why are hardback books $30? Like, I saw so many pretty ones, but I'm not that committed to it yet. It's so cute. These two are not super autumnal, but they're a little autumnal, and they really match the like velvet vibes of my house that I kind of already have going on. So I feel like they'll go, and they could even be like a year round edition, but they were very cute little mushroom velvet tops. Oh, adorable. And here, okay, now remember, we're going kind of skeleton themed, gold accents, witchy, kind of spooky vibes. I feel like that's gonna be fun. That's what we're going for at the moment. This skull. I think she'll look good. I'm thinking most of the stuff is gonna go like underneath the TV. That's my thought process right now. Now we have a skeleton ballerina on a crescent moon. How precious is that? I really like it. I think it's fun. I think it fits the vibe. I'm just into it. This is another potentially year round edition, but it's like a snake handheld mirror. But I like things like this to just lay out on the counter. I think they look pretty in the gold accents, a vibe. And then I also got this goblet, which I feel like will put something in it. I don't know yet, but it's got that like cauldron-esque, witchy kind of vibe, spooky but it's also really pretty and could possibly even be a year round edition. Edition, not edition, whatever. So that's it, that's the haul. I didn't go all out, I was trying to be modest. Again, don't forget my pillows. But I, I'm happy with what what we're starting with. And I'll probably do one more haul. I promised Will we'd go shopping on Saturday for autumnal decor. I'll go with him when I get that and I set it all up. And then I'll do a little autumnal decor tour. It's gonna be great. So that's 
that's the plan. Also, they just announced the iPhone 16. I've been hoarding, holding on to this iPhone 12 for four years now, I guess, because I think they come out with one every year, if I'm not wrong. I'm so excited to finally upgrade. This phone dies so fast, you do not understand. It is dead twice a day. I, I am so over it. I need a new phone, but I was really holding out for the 16 because they always kind of upgrade the cameras a little bit. And I think the microphone on the 16 is better as well. So I'm so hype, I'm so hype. I can order it on Friday or pre-order it. We'll go ahead and conclude the vlog there. We had a little bit of this, a little bit of that, but I will be doing a video every single week this month. If not, maybe two videos on one of the weeks. So you'll be seeing more of me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the hauls. Can't wait to get back to you on the books and how we input the decor. Can't wait. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up there. Thank you guys for watching. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Ta-ta for now. Goodbye.